Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. My name is Gozi and today we are going to be reacting to another Mr. Ball and Banger, this time called She Ignored the Warning Sirens. So yeah, let's go and check this video out. Man, you guys know how much I love Mr. Ballin's content. You guys seem to enjoy it as well. So yeah, let's get it. Let's get it, bro. Come on, Mr. Ballin. Let's get it. Don't watch the form, big man. Don't watch the form. Drink water, by the way. Keep hydrated, bro. On the morning of Monday, February 6th, 2017, a group of seven friends who were mm. all college aged and living in New Zealand. Shout out to the Kiwis out there watching the video, man. To drive back to Love New Zealand. Zealand. Look at that, nah, bro. New Zealand. Beautiful. The, before, the group had been out on Lake Look Tikitapu that. for a big concert called Flochella, where audience members would listen to the music while floating around on big that's, rafts. That's cool. That's cool. Floats. After the concert had ended, the group of friends had left the lake and headed to a nearby relative's house where they had a quiet after party with a couple of drinks and then everyone went to bed a little bit after midnight. This morning, the group had gotten up early because they wanted to get on the road as soon as possible to try to beat the holiday traffic that was sure to crop up that day on the way back to Auckland. February 6th is a big national holiday in New Zealand. Oh, okay. It's called Waitangi Day, and it's to commemorate the initial signing of the Treaty of Waitangi, which is considered to be the founding document of the country. Ooh, but right after the seven nice. friends had finished packing up their three cars and were getting ready to begin their three-hour drive north to Auckland, okay. one of the friends, a 21-year-old named Rachel De Jong, suggested they take a quick detour Gorgeous, before they head bro. back home. Rachel, wow. along with another girl in this okay, group of now. friends named Maddie, had several months ago. Australia and New Zealand, bro. You, man, yeah. Are only different. About 15 minutes away the ladies that look now, are like and it happened to all be eights, on nines, and tens, bro. Auckland. This swimming spot was this beautiful like legit, green bro. blue pool of fairly deep water that was located in the middle of a forest. This pool was actually a part of the Waikato River. However, this stretch of the river where the pool was was either very shallow or dry most of the time. So as a result, this pool actually looked like a standalone body of water. While mm -hmm. there was no okay. official trail that led through the forest to this pool of water, there was an unofficial trail. It was basically a dirt trail that cut through the woods that had formed over the years of locals tromping their way to this pool of water. After hearing Rachel's suggestion, the group of friends all agreed that this sounded like a great idea. And so the group piled into their three cars, and then by around 11.40 a.m., Rachel and Maddie had directed the convoy all the way to the start of this unofficial dirt trail, mm -hmm. which was located right on the side of a winding main road. After pulling their cars safely off to the side of the road, the group got out, and then Rachel and Maddie led them to the start of this trail, and they began walking through the forest. 15 mm. minutes later, at 11.55 a.m., the group was getting very close to the water because okay. the trees up ahead were starting to thin out. But also at 11.55 a.m., the group suddenly stopped because from somewhere out in the forest, way off in front of them, came this loud, shrill siren sound. Yo! And it went on for nearly Get 20 or forest, seconds, dude. and then it just nah. stopped. And the group kind of looked around at each other. No one knew what to make of the siren. And so eventually they just kind of shrugged it off and kept on walking. Within a minute of that siren sound coming to an end, the group had made it to the end of this unofficial dirt track, okay. which placed them at the edge of this beautiful overlook down to the pool they were going to swim in. Okay. And so they began one by one climbing down the rocks in front of them where there were some ropes that had been put up to help people climb down to the water. And so after they got down to the water, all of them stripped down to their bathing suits, they jumped into the pool, and they began swimming out towards the center of the pool where there were these two big rocks that jutted up out of the water, almost like miniature islands. And so Rachel mm. and the other women, so five of them, they climbed Bro, onto one of the rocks, though. and the two men who Jesus. were part of this group climbed onto the other rock. And so they got up onto these rocks and they're looking around, taking in the sights, and then at 11.58 a.m., another siren blasts across the forest. It's the Twice, same bro. sound as the one they heard three minutes earlier when they were on the dirt track. Three and so minutes later, again, all nah. All of them are kind of looking at each other, wondering what is the siren about? But after the 20 or 30 second long siren came to an end, they glanced around them and there was no sign of any danger. There was no sign of really anything happening at all. It was just this beautiful, peaceful seeming oasis. And so before long, they had forgotten about the siren again and Rachel had gotten out her camera and she was taking bro. pictures and others were 
were taking pictures Jesus as well. Christ. And then two Jesus minutes gorgeous, later man. at 12 p.m., the siren sounded. Whoa! Well, come on, you have to check to find out what it is, the Big Bun. Heard the siren two other times, and even though the sound of the siren was kind of jarring because it was so high pitched and shrill and really cut into their ears. This time, because they've heard it two other times and nothing happened, they all pretty much immediately wrote it off. So the siren sounding for the third time, oh, and the no. group is not really paying attention. But when the siren finally stops this third time, something very different began to happen, and the group immediately noticed it. And then all of them were It's risk. When the third siren came. Okay. When the third siren came to a stop, the friends started to hear a new sound, and it mm. was coming from the same direction the siren had been coming from, which in effect was upstream. Even though this river was basically dry, they could turn and look upstream, uphill, and they could uphill. clearly okay. see where the river would go if it was full. Okay. And so the friends turn and look upstream, and they're listening to this really loud kind of smashing sound that's coming from that direction, and they're exchanging curious looks at each other, trying to figure out what that sound could be. And then all of a sudden, they see it. A white wall of water comes crashing around the oh, corner and begins no. barreling straight down the riverbed towards them. That's a By dam the up the there. Had even processed what they were seeing. Oh. The water had reached the pool they were in, and it was flooding the pool. The so sirens quickly, were the dam doors open. The warning for the dam doors opening. Up and up and up oh my them. And so God. as the rocks they're standing on began to slowly submerge under all this rising water, the group collectively decided that this can't nah. go on for very long. But Whatever this is, it's gonna stop, so just stay put, stay on these rocks, we're gonna be okay. However, within seconds, that's a dam up there. This is real, real video. That's a dam up there. The water was still tumbling down Jesus. the hill towards their pool and then spilling out over the other side down the other end of the riverbed. And they're thinking to themselves, if we don't get off these rocks soon, we're gonna get swept downstream with this water. And so the two men who were on their own rock, they leapt to a rocky outcropping that was slightly higher up okay. and was connected back up to the forest. And so this rocky outcropping represented safety. And so uh -huh. once they were up there, they turned around and they yelled to the five women still stranded on their rock to try to swim over to them. And the guys would grab them and swim to safety. You but by this point, the girls are looking around, the Do water's up to that. their knees, and it's rushing past them. They can barely keep their balance. They know if they attempt to swim in this water, they're going to immediately be taken downstream with it. And so the group very quickly decides their only choice is for the women to literally Real Jump oh, Rachel. And oh grab no! The men who have their arms outstretched for them, and so Rachel DeJong, she was the Bro. first one to try this. She what leaps the hell, off the rock, she grabs the guy's arms, and she gets pulled to safety. And then she turns around, and she and the other two men continue to get the women to jump off the rock to them. And at first, it's going fairly well until they get down to the second to last woman who leaps. She grabs one of the guy's arms, and then both of them lose their footing, and the guy and the woman no. they both get swept away no. downstream. They're gone. Rachel stays calm and no. she moves to the position where the guy had been who just got swept away and she takes out her GoPro camera selfie stick and she extends it out to the last woman who's out on the rock. Her name is Alice. And she tells Alice, jump and grab the selfie stick. And so Alice, who's almost completely submerged in water now, makes this frantic jump to grab onto the selfie stick. Damn she grabs bro. it for a second, but then loses her grip and she begins being swept away. And Rachel, who at this point was completely safe, immediately jumped in into the rapids after Alice. She what? grabbed Alice, she attempted to turn around and grab the rock to stop them, but she couldn't get a grip. And she and Alice were also no. swept downstream out of view. Two weeks Bro. before Rachel, Maddie, Alice, and the others had gone to this secret swimming spot, a warning sign, like a physical warning sign, mm. that warned people not to go near this river, don't go near this pool, was stolen. And that warning there sign is, the was dam up there. the very beginning of that unofficial dirt track there that the seven you. friends took to get to the pool. Meaning, when the seven friends got out of their cars and began hiking into the forest to go to this pool, they would not have understood the danger of where that they were going. That guy stole now, that sense of balance, bro. Had previously discovered no. this swim spot several months earlier. However, it seems like they had just learned that this swim spot existed and how to get to it. It did not seem like they had literally walked this trail and gotten to the pool, and so very likely they would not have known about the dangers this place posed. The pool of water they were swimming 
swimming in was not actually dangerous itself. It was only dangerous because the pool was located in the middle of a spill zone. About 650 feet upstream of the pool they were swimming in yes, the is dam, a dam, like the and three to four the times video. a day, they open their gates, releasing 20,000 gallons of water per second down per second, this bro. mostly dry riverbed, and no. the water comes careening across that pool all the way to the bottom. The gates stay open for about 15 minutes, and the only reason this is done is for the spectacle of it. Wow. It's to show tourists what this riverbed looked like before the the dam was built and what this riverbed looked like before the dam was built was a raging rapid on february 6th 2017 the dam was set to spill at 12 p.m so those sirens the friends heard at 11 55 11 yeah they were warning sirens bro. were wow. all warnings that a spill was about to occur but of course, the seven friends had no idea. After the 12 p.m. spill had finally ended, the three friends who had made it to the rocky outcropping and had not been swept away by the current went looking for the four other friends who had been swept away, and they would find them. Three had miraculously survived, no. but one had not. The sole fatality was 21-year-old no! whose idea it was to come and swim at the spot. She tried to save place. her friend as Rachel well. Rachel also was the woman oh, who had left man. safety and jumped back into the rapids to attempt Damn. to save her friend. Oh, that made me sad. Today, there are many more warning signs and Rest fences peace, that Rachel, have been put up okay, around now. the Waikato River to prevent That's people bummer, from getting bro. too close. Because the dam still, despite the fatality, spills several times a day. However, despite all these precautions and all the notoriety, around Rachel's death, people still Dang. today sneak in and go swimming in that secret pool. Rockin' hell, bro. Oh, that made me sad, man. She, she couldn't survive. She decided to try to save her friend, and then she got swept away as well, and she died, and she was the only one that died. That's a sad story, but hey, you need to learn about these types of places, man. If you don't, if you don't know, I get it, though. I get it. I... I am close to her, uh, her age, man. Like, I'm 24, she was 21. And I've done some stupid stuff, bro. Like, in, near where I live here, I went to school. And near the school, there was, a, a like, a lake. But it's extremely dangerous. Like, we are told specifically to never go to that lake. Because the bottom, if you, if you jump in and you get stuck at the bottom, you are not coming out, bro. Because the bottom is muddy, it's, like, it's clay, it's legit clay. There used to be a clay mine there, and now it's filled with water until the top of the mine. So, we jump in from the top of the one thing, and we jump in to the water. And me, when I jumped in, I was with my friends after a football tournament, and I jumped, I jumped in, and my, my left, yeah, my left leg was stuck in the clay. Like, I jumped, I didn't go as far as I should, where it's deeper, I landed in between, and I go, and my le I tried to pull myself up, I'm down, I'm underwater, and I tried to pull myself up, and I can't, because my left leg is stuck, but I thought fast, and with my hands, I reached, and I freed my foot, and I was able to come up, but it could have been risky, bro, it was risky, but, I, and, and I get it, Teenagers are dumb, bro. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching the video, man. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. Although it ended sadly, it's still a f Mr. Bolin is the goat on telling stories, man. He's amazing. Rest in peace to Rachel. You tried to be a hero, man, and you were. I'm sure your friend knows that. Rest in peace up there, the big man. I'm sure he treated you well when you got once you got home. But yeah. Guys, before you go, don't forget how we end videos on the channel, bro. Keep God first as always. Drink water, go to somebody who loves them, and if you hear, you know what to do, man. Like the video, subscribe to the channel. My name is Gonzalez, and you guys tomorrow. Goodbye. Do you think you're